he hears the word go. We have it live on the big screen. This game will be kicking off momentarily here between Four Kings Yoam and 80 Short Round. The admin is just about to click the magical start game button, and this game will be kicking off for the third, fourth playoff here in three, two, and one on Lost Temple. Night Elf, that is Short Round. Human, that is Yoam. It's third versus four. It's third and fourth playoff. Who will take the glory of taking that bronze medal? Well, we shall see straight away. We have the Tree of Life spawning up a wisp. We have an Order of Elders being constructed, and this is by the Night Elf side of short round. Now, down to the northwest hand side of the base, the human team of Four Kings Yoan playing in the grey. Just about looking at the sizes of the base here, they are fairly close to one another. We have north, east, and north itself. Locations of the best. Uh, locations of the base. Um, we have the light green army of short round. We have the grey army of the human, uh, human Four Kings Yoan of France. And uh, straight away we see an altar of kings going up and we see Yoan using his peasants to construct the farm as well. Also training up some more peasants, and as we look around, we see the Order of Elders has almost been constructed here by short round, uh, about 90% done. Moving across one of his wisps to the very right-hand side of this map. Now, this has been a very favorable tactic of everyone that seems to have played this map so far. They'll move one of their units across to the very right-hand side, especially if they're playing Night Elf, spawn up either an Ancient of War or even a... Uh, or even a, a tree of life, right on that very right hand side, and slowly move it across towards the gold mine on the far on on the right hand side. It's been a very quick way of getting a fast expansion up. We have the order of elders up now. Going to be training up a warden here for short round. And on the very right hand side of this map, we have a militia going out into the center of the map with that uh, barracks already constructed. We have the altar of kings, of course, for the humans training up an archmage, and ever present so far for all people who have choos chosen hum chosen humans. And uh, now the peasants, gold mining, lumberjacking, and putting up a barracks there. We have the barracks now constructed, and um, probably going to see another farm go up any minute now. We see a footman being constructed. Right next door to that barracks is the farm, and on that right-hand side we still see a uh, short round uh, constructing that Ancient of War. Now, as I look further forward, we see short round putting forward a moon well as well. And to this left-hand side of the map, we see... Uh, we see more wisps going out on their scouting mission. Now to the right hand side, where that farm is almost constructed, the five lumberjacks, the five gold miners are already ready to go. The Order of Kings has trained up his Archmaid and the Archmaid militias up three or four of the units and out they go. We're gonna begin the creeping here very early on and at the very top right hand side of the map, that Warden has met up with the Ancient of War and they're gonna be moving across to the right hand side to clear room for the expansion, three wisps accompanying them. And as they do so, the Ogre Warrior is drawn out of position by the uh, Warden, who then takes a shot off at one of the Forest Troll High Priests and the Forest Troll Berserkers. It's three the Forest Trolls against and one Ogre Warrior going up against this Ancient of War, which has taken about 50% damage as it takes on this Ogre Warrior. As it does so, the Ogre Warrior goes uh, is about to fall. There it is. The Warden's going to come around and slay, the, slay him. And we see that Warden now up to about level one and a half. And the creeping on the bottom right-hand side of the map, we see the Archmage so close to level two. When it takes down the Shadow High Priest, it will go up to level two. With that Water Elemental round, we have the Militia. We have five or six Peasants. Are they going to construct a Town Hall? It would, it would look like they have cleared the way for the uh, expansion. And as they do so, we're going to see the continuation of the Archmage moving through the very center of the map. Now, the Ancient of War has cleared the way and is now going to begin uh, eating up one of these trees and getting itself set down and very soon we will see that continue. We see the warden moving down to the very left hand side of the map and uh, as that warden we'll be right back here uh, on Radio ITG as we just uh, fix a problem. Welcome back here to Radio ITG. Apologies for the brief, brief intermission there. We have now on the bottom right-hand side of the map the town hall being constructed. The warden is making his way towards it. We have the uh, militia trying to take on this warden. The warden already lost about 100 HP. Slays down one of the peasants, though. More militia coming around to encircle this warden, which is up to level 2. Slays down another peasant, making his way back to around, the, to around this peasant hall. We see that warden slowly taking on the second peasant. Now there are just two left alive, and the militia are now going to take it to that warden. If the Archmage could come back, it would take down that warden. The warden has lost a lot of health. It's only down to 200 HP. That town hall is still being constructed against fierce opposition. The warden is taking more and more damage. The warden's about to go down, and the warden is out of there. Nice work there by the militia to slay the warden early on. Advantage going there to Four Kings Yoam. On the very right-hand side of the map now, we see Archmage trying to take on the expansion of the Tree of Life, which would prevent the gold mine being entangled. It has done so. The Ancient of War trying to train up another archer. We have two archers right outside this Archmage. The Archmage 
taking a bit of damage from the third archer there, but that Ancient of War is still up and running. We have about 450 HP on that Ancient of War. Here comes the Footman as well, and as that Footman with the Lightning Shield tries to do a bit of damage to the Ancient of War, the Ancient of War uproots and is going to use one of the trees in a minute. Now, on the right-hand side, we see that Arc Mage still looking pesky around the Footman. It takes off his... Uh, shield and uh, now he's joined up by two further footmen we have the expansion of already completed by four kings yoam but short round is unable to complete his expansion we have yoam moving his um, footman in and out of the battle we have a third footman coming in here comes the arc make striking down upon him the that ancient of war is down to about 440 hp but here comes the archers to try and take on these forces here comes a water elemental as well from that arc make there are three or four of these archers now trying to encircle this Archmage, but they are being called out and back and away from the fight itself. And as we look around, we see another archer created, and here it is. The Warden has been revived after going down, and is going to take straight on towards the Archmage and one of these footmen. Now, as he does so, the Warden it takes a little bit of damage, but still looking about all right. Just lost about 50 HP. We have that Ancient of War up with the Moonwell as well. Short round is slowly ma ma making his way back into this game after losing the early advantage. That Water Elemental is going to take damage from both the Warden and the Archmage, and the Archers. The Archmage moves away towards with the Footman. And here comes a Wisp as well. It's going to go into one of the trees. The Archmage takes a shot off at, one of the, at the Ancient of War, but it's going to be joined up by the Warden. And now the Warden and the uh, Warden is going to give chase to the Water Elemental and the Footman. Down goes the Footman. Uh, down goes the Water Elemental, and the Footman is going to be next. Now, that Arc Meg, back and away to the very bottom right-hand side of this map. We've seen the uh, Footman just fleeing out of Yoam's base now to the bottom right-hand side. Looks like the Arc Meg is, has escaped the... Uh, the trap of the warden but no the warden is still giving chase and slowly yoam's footmen are trying to move away from the uh, trying to move away one of the footmen turns around and now the archmage has just said enough is enough and he's going to take down this football take on this footman backed up by five or six archers the warden is uh, going right up against this water elemental as well now and that warden has already lost about 100 hp with the archmage still on 475 to 475 more footmen coming in to join the fight against this warden here and here it comes that warden is being encircled here back to Away. Another footman goes away from the fight, going to get shot down there by the archer. Forward it comes, the Archmage takes another shot off at that at the last archer on the right-hand side. The uh, Warden getting more and more damage done to it, or in fact being trapped in there by its own units. The Water Elemental and the Archmage not too fussed about that Warden right now, though. Both heroes up to level 2, one on Yoam side, one on Short Round side. And as we look around, we see more footmen coming on in here. The Warden is not the priority here. It seems to be those archers which are, and now the Warden... Warden Please takes a shot off at the Archmage. Back away goes the Archmage. He's now been slowed in. The Archmage has lost about 50% of its health now. The Archmage cannot get out of the dangerous position that it's in. The footmen are coming back to lend a hand. We have two archers up to the north-hand side, and that Archmage is running for dear life. It's down to about 100 HP. It has got the Shadow Strike on it as well, and as it moves away, it's trying to use that Brilliant Sword to get the hell away out of there because it's down to 112 HP. The Warden follows. The Warden is being relentless in its pressure to take on this Archmage and finish it off and had the advantage to AT short round of the United States. As it does so, it's using the rejuvenation to catch back up to Elzit. It's trying to do it. But is it, if it can't catch up, the, as it goes away, the Archmage is going to slowly regenerate its health. But the Archmage turns around, tries to fight, loses about another 20 HP, and is now down to 85 HP. The Warden's still giving more and more shots. We have a Shadow Strike on the Archmage, and this could be it for the Archmage. Oh, nice work there by the Archmage to call the Town Portal, and that is just just going to save the bacon of that Archmeg, which is still under the influence of the Shadow Strike, and um, now that Shadow Strike ends, we have six footmen to follow back up, looking around, we have six archers going straight down to the very entrance of Four Kings Yoam's base, this is the third, fourth playoff here, live on Radio ITG at the World Cyber Games, 2004, it's day four, and it looks like that expansion of AT Short Round is now going to be completed. The goldmine is finally being entangled. And as I look down to the bottom right-hand side, we see that Yoam's expansion has expanded somewhat. We have an arcane tower, we have a guard tower, and we have three or four farms up there. And uh, right now, it looks like the green army of uh, Short Round is not so interested in that. Took a little look, now back and away, going up to the very center of the map. Here it comes. We have the Archmage leading his forces into battle. The Archmage still down at about 200 HP. Fire coming in here by the footman towards that, towards the Warden. And they've encircled the Warden, and the Warden's going to go down here unless the archers can pierce a hole through. Warden calls the town portal, and nice work there to get him out of there. Right when he was about to lose his life, uses his forces, 
gets him out of there because right there and then Yoam will have the advantage. Now Yoam has himself a rifleman as well. We have also a uh, blood mage spawned up by him as well, and Yoam looking to take this game on forward. We have a um, druid of the claw adept training being spawned up now and uh, being researched. We also have a dryad up here as well as that warden. As I look to the altar of elders, I don't see anything because of course a tree of eternity is being upgraded right now. And uh, on the very top right hand side of this map, the archmage and the blood mage leading the charge to the very top expansion of for, uh, of AT short round. In the very center of the map though, we have the null brutes and the null assassins and poachers getting taken on here by short round on the very center. His warden levels up to level three with that shot. And on the very right hand side of the map though, we do see the war, uh, the great army of four kings, Yoam, pushing on in, just trying to take down the entangled gold mine. It's already taken about 100 HP, but watch your six because here comes the green army of AT short round to lend a hand. The Blood Meg is at the very forefront of the action. Nice shot there going in by the Warden. Does a, bit, a little bit of damage. Back away goes that Warden. And the Priest is now going to come back into the thick of things. They're not so interested in the gold mine though. Down to about 678 HP. Shot goes in there on short round. Nice explosions going off all around this Archer. Another Archer falls. The Warden takes a bit more damage. Down to about 300 HP. Back in away we have the Arc Meg moving back up towards the, uh, towards the gold mine. And trying to finish this off. The Rifleman. Waits just out of range of anything that can do any damage to him. And now as they continue to push up, they're going to take on this Ancient of War. Take about 100 HP off him. We have the, uh, we have the footman doing that damage. We have another footman going right up towards the, um, going right up towards the Entangled Goldmine. Taking on, uh, taking on some Wisps as well. And in my opinion, they should focus solely on the Entangled Goldmine. Just damage the economy as much as you can for such a short period. And now, though, we have Riflemen coming in on the back of three archers. They have done a lot of damage, and a Priest is going to come in on the action as well. And here comes a Spellbreaker as well, and those archers are making a beeline to get the hell out of there because they've taken a fair bit of damage. One of them down to 48, one of them down to 35. And as they move out of here, Yoam's forces are backing away, and they're going to go straight to the very center of the space. The Ancient of War takes damage. The, the, the uh, Entangled Gold Mine takes more damage. Still, the Tree of Life stands tall. That long, that long oak is in fine condition, but the Ancient of War is not. The Ancient of War gets cut down by the chainsaw brought through it by four kings, Yoam. Yoam now feels that the advantage is certainly with him. With four riflemen, with one spellbreaker, with two priests. With four footmen, they now take on with the Archmage leading the charge, the entangled gold mine, which is not so tangled anymore. Out come those uh, wisps, which are going to detonate themselves on impact right around the heroes. They're going to get slaughtered, though. Here it comes. It's a tree of life, which is the next target here for four kings, Yoam. On the very right hand, left hand side of the map, though, we have the archer of short round. Remember, this is best of three. The advantage might be with Yoam in this round, but short round has proven time and time again that he is capable of coming back from a one goal deficit, well, one, gu uh, one round deficit, and uh, continuing to win the game. Now, can he do that in this round while well, short round is taking damage to that tree of life? More shots going in there. Yoam does that. And the Tree of Life is down, and the expansion is over here for a short round. Going to be led to charge in now. We have two Druids of the Claw accompanying the Warden, and as they do so, the Priest is going to back off into the middle of the map. Now I feel Yoan must press his advantage home, must just dominate the base of a short round, because realistically, short round only has five to six ground units, and um, Yoan has about double that. Now, going to continue up the uh, going to continue up the creeping route as he goes up to the very top right hand side of the map. He's going to make room at the Goblin Merchant, and as he does so, the Archmage is going to go right in there, take on the first Troll Berserker, as is a Blood Mage taking on that very first Troll Berserker. As I speak, going up to level two right now there, and coming in there six though. Here comes the Druids of the Claw. Nice work there with the roar, and as they come right behind, the Footman cannot get anywhere out of here. We have some summoned units. We have the Skeleton Warriors, the Archmage coming in here from behind. We have the Archers as well, and this is the chance for short round to level up the numbers and make this attack count. The Blood Mage takes a fair bit of damage. The Warden as well is taking damage as I speak down to about 300 HP. But they're backing those archers away. The attack was not successful and they need to get their units out of there pronto. The Druid of the Claw took some damage. They weren't able to take as many of the um, units out as possible. And now, Yoam's forces cover the whole screen and they're giving chase to what the Warden has of Short Round. Short Round now in the very center of this map. More shots going in there on Short Round's Warden, which is up to about full health now. Druid of the Claw leading the attack straight in towards the Fountain of Health. And as they do so, the Archers are moving straight across the Fountain of Health as well. The Warden is making the charge through that with the Druid of the Claw as well. We have Yoam now deciding not to give chase. And those Archmage are going to take on the Fountain of Health and try and clear that up. Are we going to 
Lawrence here, creep jack. The warden is looking past mischievous. And as he comes in, he's going to take on a null assassin. He's going to move around. He's going to slay one of those null assassins and the null poacher. Moving back to the right hand side, we see Yoam using the spellbreaker as well. And right in the very center of this map, we see hell and fire going off left, right, and center. The, the druids of the claws are burning. The shots going in on short rounds warden. He's backing off to the right hand side. He's making a beeline for Yoam's base. Following though, right on his back is Yoam's forces, the mighty forces, the riflemen, the warden, the gunman, uh, the, the uh, footman. And as they follow it up, we see the druid of the claw leading up at the back. And as they do so, he cannot get out of there fast enough. Now, short round, slowly but surely, backing away up to the very center of this map. On the right-hand side of the map, we do see a peasant getting challenged down by three druids of the claw right up where the fast expansion was. And we do see a fast expansion going on here. Well, not so fast anymore, but a town hall being constructed by Yoam at the very right-hand side. And I don't believe the green army of 80 short round has any idea. But short round, in this, in this interval, in this lull in the battle, has got his forces up. I see six, or I see about six druids of the claw two dry ants, three or four archers, and now short round has an army to be reckoned with. On the very right hand side of this map though, is that gray base of four kings Yoam, but now the forces of Yoam are going to just, just knock down the side door to short round's base, and waiting for them is the Ancient of Wonders. Coming across is the roaring druid of the claw leading the charge we have this we have the warden using the anti-magic shell back and away we see druids of the claw left right and center that arc mag is get that block mag is getting surrounded by the druids of the claw it's gonna fall any second now no it backs away helps itself up going up to level three as well this block mage is on fire now back and away to the top left hand side of the map joined up with the arc mag and the rifleman and the priests are kicking this off towards the druids of the claw which just will not fall the druids of the claw pouncing upon one of the wardens uh pouncing upon one of the um Putman taking down the priest as well and the spellbreakers trying to circle these druids of the claw as they fall. We have one of them down to about 40 HP. We have more of them backing away to the very center of their base. We have the Ancient of Law though, training up another dryad. On the right hand side though, we see the Ancient of Wonders about to be slaughtered by the Arcne, by the uh, spellbreakers as well. They're now going to take on one of these moonwells. Two moonwells in fact. The shots just continue to rain down upon both of these uh, moonwells. One of them is about to fall any second now. It's a relentless attack here. And all that uh, Short Round can do is watch from the very left-hand side of his base. He's waiting for them to come. It's the Warden to lead the charge with the Dryads following suit. Still only one hero being used here by Short Round. Cannot get himself up to get the second one, but his Warden's gone up to level 5. He's going to move around with that Orb of Wisdom, and as he does so, he takes a pop shot off at the Blood Mage. Blood Mage loses about 20 HP. That Warden has also lost a lot of damage as it went through the attack now going to come up behind the arc mag they've taken a shot again from that blood mage the blood mage is going to do more and more damage towards it and as that as that um, blood mage is back up to about 700 hp the priest is going to continue shooting upon it blue fire raining down between the two of them the warden is slowed down it cannot get out of there it's trying to back away for dear life because it has lost so much of its life down to about 50 percent hp we see another one of the buildings falling another one of the uh, moon wells is going to take more and more damage here 280 short round, but right now the Moonwell cannot be the priority because he's 25 units short of a full load. Back in a way that block, the arc make is going to fall, as is the Warden. It is game, set, and match. Round one goes to four kings of France. Yoam takes the victory. Short round has left the game. And can the American come back like he has done so many times? Well, we shall see. You tune into Radio ITG at the World Cyber Games 2004. Round two will be kicking off momentarily. Welcome back here. I'm just waiting on the game to be kicking off once again. It is 1-0 to Yoam. Played a very good round here, and he did everything right. From the very beginning, he was aggressive. He got a fast expansion up early. He prevented the expansion from short round, and then capitalized completely by putting his own expansion right where short rounds was. He